Hey guys, Sean here. Uh, this is the first of many uh, moto vlogs, video blogs. Um, first bike is going to be this uh, 2008 CBR 1000. It is black on black on black on black. Uh, everything about it is black. Uh, it's got 18,000 miles. We're going to take it for a spin. It's got brand new, um, not brand new, they're about 300 miles. Uh, Michelin Pilot Power uh, 2 CTs. This is a double compound tire where the center compound is a little um stiffer uh than the side compound so you got a little you got a softer uh side compound so you got better traction on turns but uh if you're doing more if you're doing highway stuff it's not just going to wear out the uh the center of it uh we're gonna take it for a spin um this is one of this is one of my favorite bikes i really enjoy riding this thing um it always had good power i always felt like when i got off of it or when i was riding it that it, 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 I was a better rider. <laughs> like I could do more things on this bike than what I actually uh, should be able to do. Uh, let's fire it up and take it for a spin. Hopefully uh, you can hear me. This is my new setup. Uh, I'm running a uh, I'm running a GoPro GoPro Hero 4 uh, Black Edition, and I got a little. Uh, I just got a new microphone hooked up and. Hopefully you guys can hear me really good. The bike seems to run good. It's got plenty of power. Let's put the uh, let's put the visor down. Maybe you guys can hear me. Um, if you've ridden the uh, the CBR before this model, and this model came out in 08, this is the first year of this model. It really hasn't changed that much until the latest generation. Um, if you ever ridden this bike, it just uh, it feels so light, and it was a, a significantly a, a significant change from the previous uh, CBR 1000 RRs. It, I mean, this feels lighter than my uh, my GSXR 600 track bike. It, I mean, it feels significantly lighter. It just, it, it wants to lay over so comfortably. If I were gonna do any too much more riding with this, I would definitely bleed the brakes. Um, I feel like even from the factory, uh, these brake systems have a little bit of air in them. I don't know why. I, I prefer, I prefer full braking at like that. I'm talking like one finger full braking. This, I bet if I pulled those uh, levers back, I could probably touch my knuckles. Uh, that's definitely not what I want, and it's not what I'm. Uh, it's not what I'm used to. Um, this particular bike has a uh, aftermarket gear indicator. You can see it right there. Uh, it says we're in six six gear. Uh, a lot of the other bikes do that. The uh, Suzuki's have been doing that for a little while. Um, it is nice to have. It is nice to know what gear you're in. Uh, we're driving through beautiful Lancaster County. Check it out. We got corn. We got some cones. <clears throat> it's about, uh, they said it's 86 degrees and they said it feels like uh, 96. I don't know. I, I think it feels like 100. Let's get into a uh, passing gear. power to pass that car uh, that's not a problem so if you were wondering whether the CBR 1000 was faster than a I don't know 99 Camry um, I know it's a heavy debate these days oh it was faster than CBR 1000 or Camry well I think we just proved that, uh, that you know the CBR could probably pull on the Camry a little bit um, A little bit about myself I am a dealer I'm a bike dealer I was in the car industry I uh, well I was in the bike industry for a while then I got into the car industry and I learned a lot of fun stuff and now I'm back into the uh, motorcycle industry um, so I, I'm a pen registered Pennsylvania motorcycle dealer uh, I get 
I, I try to sell my stuff. Um, I, I sell it cheap. I, I'll be honest with you. I sell my stuff really cheap. Uh, I get it for a good price. I don't make that much money on each bike. Uh, it's kind of a it's kind of a side project, but uh, I really enjoy it. Um, I ship a lot of bikes to different states because my bikes are so inexpensive, and um, I love being able to. I, I love meeting new people, and I love uh, riding all these different types of bikes. You know, I, I'll. I'm gonna be test driving anything. I got about seven bikes right now. I'll be test driving anything from CBR 1000s to uh, Can-Am Spiders to you know a Honda Grom or even uh, you know like a little uh, 250 V-Star. Um, you know I, I like a lot of you people. I I like a lot of you people. I, I like I like riding bikes, and um, I suggest if you guys are interested in. Uh, watching my channel you know learning a little bit more about each bike getting a a well-round knowledge about the just motorcycles um subscribe to my channel also if you're looking for a uh the killer deal on a bike uh my bikes my bikes sell quick um the longest bike i've ever had i think lasted a month and i was just dying i was it was killing me that i've had it for so long i really like to sell my stuff within you know, a week or two. Uh, the shortest bike I've I've had a couple of bikes. I've had a handful of bikes that sold in uh, the next day. You know, I, I posted it that night, and um, the next day, uh, the next morning, someone's coming up with cash. And uh, you know, that's that's how I like to do it. I, I will ship bikes. I'll ship bikes anywhere in the country. Uh, just got done shipping a Moto Guzzi to Arkansas. I shipped a Hayabusa to, uh, to Albany, Georgia. I shipped a Ducati 1098S to uh, Las Vegas. Um, I'm getting to know the shippers pretty well. I'm getting to know the shippers pretty well. And, uh, you know, it, it, I, I've shipped bikes. I've shipped bikes to this to Georgia, um, from Pennsylvania to Georgia, for $250. That was about a year and a half ago. But so yeah, I think you'd be surprised that it's not as expensive as you think to ship a motorcycle. Also, everyone who's ever received one of my bikes, they all said the same thing. They said it, the bike is exactly how you described it. I, I understand that. Um, if I'm not describing the bike, if, I, if they're getting something that I'm not describing, you know what I mean, that's really going to hurt my business. And that's the last thing I want is for people to, people to, you know, I, I, I want to take the risk out of buying motorcycles online. Uh, I got a little, sp I got a little spun a little bit back there. I'm going to show you guys a little clutch wheelie, but... A lot of you guys are uh, advanced riders. You've been riding for a long time, and a lot, a lot of you guys are beginners. You know, um, you got to start somewhere. My, uh, my first bike was a uh, was a two thousand. Uh, no, two thousand nothing. My first bike was a 1986. Hold on, I'm gonna get down a little low. Here's a little power wheelie for you. Uh, I'm gonna wait for this guy's gonna this guy's gonna pull out. My first bike was a 1986 Honda Magna. Now if you're looking for a first bike, I really do suggest getting some old getting some old Honda. Ah, I'm a little rusty on my clutch wheelies with this bike. I do suggest getting an old Honda. Um, you can get up cheap, you know, it, it's, I, I remember when I had it, I thought it was the fastest thing in the world, I couldn't think of anything else going to be faster than my V45 750 Honda Magna, you know, I learned how to ride on it, I think I picked it up for 600 bucks, it was a lot of fun, and I probably sold it for more than 600 bucks, um, I think it had like 40,000 miles on it too.
it's, it's the type of bike that you could drop and oh you bend the handlebars so what you go you go pay 15 bucks you get a new set of handlebars at honda um just a fun bike it's good their old stuff is good bike to learn on you know i've seen too many people get their first bike some leader bike like this and it's just so much it's so much power when you're not used to it your mind actually cannot comprehend what's going on you go into like tunnel vision and it's just like you know uh it's, god forbid something pulls out in front of you you know you're you're done um let's take a right right here you know also these uh I know a lot of people who their first bike they get a um they get a uh like a little 250 ninja that's a that, or a 250 yeah 250 ninja or a 250 rebel or something like that um that, there's nothing wrong with that you know uh yeah you, you're gonna sell it in like two two to two weeks to a couple months because you grew out of it but you know what? You're not gonna lose money on that sale. You're gonna you're gonna sell it for the exact same price you bought it for. Maybe even make a couple bucks, and you will you would have you know you're gonna save money because if you it's such a light bike, it's easy to learn how to ride. And then you go get something that you actually like. You know, spend a little bit more money. Um, they they say the most accidents happen in the first uh, six months of riding. And that, that's, I, I, I've seen that myself. I've 100% I've seen that in my own life. Um, all my buddies who get bikes, man, they, they always wreck them in the first six months. They don't know what they're doing. If you have a, uh, if you have a town uh, in Pennsylvania, we're one of the only states that has a free motorcycle safety course. It's actually really cool. They actually give you little bikes to ride. Um, and then it's like, it's like a two-day course. Uh, it teaches you a lot. This bike is so smooth. Uh, and it's got 18,368 miles on it. That, that I, I couldn't care less. Uh, I've actually seen, I've actually heard people who had like 929s. Um, 929 Honda CBRs. And uh, they've had over 100,000 miles on it. Uh, I mean, that's not typical. Most people wreck their bikes before they ever hit that point. But, um... I mean, I've ridden, I've ridden these things with, you know, with under a thousand miles. I've ridden them with over, you know, 30,000 miles. It still runs great. It does, you know, I, I couldn't tell the difference. You know, the person who's going to pull away if you're racing is not going to be the guy with the lower miles. It's going to be the guy who has the most modifications to it. Um, that's just the bottom line. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't sweat it buying a bike with this many miles. And especially, you know, for a good price. Uh, the biggest thing for me is when you're looking to buy a bike, buy something that's clean, buy that something that's been maintained. This bike has never been down. Um, there's not a scratch on this thing. It's got brand new tires. If you buy, if you buy, you might be able to buy a bike for a couple hundred bucks cheaper that needs tires. Hey, tires are 400 bucks. That's just for the tires. Now you gotta get them mountain balanced. You're probably looking at closer to 500 bucks when, when it's all said and done. And you just lost a day of riding, you know? Every day of riding is a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a good day. Well guys, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, right now I got a bunch of walk arounds. This is going to be my first video up. Gaslight just came on. Um, I got a bunch of other bikes I got for sale. I got a uh, 2012 Vulcan Voyager, big old touring bike. Uh, I got a really nice uh, 2006 VTX 1300 Honda with low miles. I got a, um, a Victory Kingpin 06. That's a, that's a pretty cool bike. I got a Victory Highball um, 2014 with 585 miles. Actually, I think the guy's coming to pick that up today, so that, that should be sold. I got a little 06 Rebel, I got a 2013 V-Star, I just got in a, um, oh, I'm, I'm getting a uh, 2013 GSX-R 750 tomorrow, uh, that's supposed to be a really clean bike with less than 2,000 miles on it, that should be fun to ride, um, that's about three generations, 
newer than the, the bike that I, I do track days on. Um, so I'm excited to get that fella. I kind of want to jump in the grass and just kind of go around them. I won't. These mirrors actually work. I can see around my arm. If I had bigger arms, I probably couldn't do it. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed this first video, me just driving around talking about stuff. Um, I'll leave my phone number on uh, on the page. I do put my stuff on eBay. Uh, this bike is currently on eBay. I think I listed it at 65. Um, I'm gonna sell for cheaper. Who am I kidding? <laughs> I always sell for a little bit. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to get rid of stuff. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't want to hold on the bikes just enough to make money survive and uh, keep on riding so uh, subscribe to my youtube channel i'm probably gonna be doing this again like right now i'm gonna i'm gonna i got a bunch of bikes i just got my uh my gopro system set up uh hopefully it sounds good and um you guys will uh we'll see you later I'm gonna pull back into the shop. And that'll be a wrap.